Central African Republic, Iraq, South Sudan, Syria. As the conflicts in these countries drag on, so do the humanitarian crises. A shortage of childhood vaccinations, a lack in surgical care, and 25 million people currently in need have pushed the UN's World Health Organization to launch its latest $1 billion appeal for emergency funding. So the tendency that we see is that um, in protracted situations, and these four emergencies are now protracted, situations get more and more complex. Um, and we see that it is harder and harder to, to cover the funding needs and especially the continuity of services at the year end. The UN has classified all four countries as grade three crises, requiring the highest level of response that the UN can deliver. Six months after a ceasefire was reached in Gaza, the UN continues to call on the international community to step up its efforts to rebuild the coastal enclave. Little of the $5.4 billion pledged at a donors conference in Cairo has reached Gaza. Cash assistance to families who lost everything has been suspended, and other crucial aid is unavailable due to lack of funds. Last summer's seven-week conflict left more than 108,000 people homeless and half a million children in need of psychosocial support. Samar and her six-year-old sister, Rosal, lost their father during a blast that hit a United Nations-run school where their family was seeking shelter. The sisters, their mother, and three other siblings now live with their grandfather. That was the message of UN Secretary General for Political Affairs Jeffrey Feltman when he briefed the Security Council last week, warning that in Gaza, a combination of the failure to solve security issues and the slow pace of reconstruction has created an increasingly toxic environment. Progress in the fight against cholera in Haiti. Last year, we had uh, 28,000 cases of uh, new cases of cholera. If we compare this with previous year, 2013 and 12, in those years we had over 60,000 cases per year. Even in previous year, we had over 100,000 new cases of cholera. So progress has been made. Nonetheless, the Caribbean country continues to reel from the devastating epidemic. Since 2010, over 725,000 people were struck by the disease. More than 8,000 lives were lost. As the UN doubles down, its senior coordinator for cholera response, Pedro Medrano Rojas, warns that much remains uh, to be done. For the United Nations, the cholera outbreak in Haiti is a priority. It is perhaps the worst epidemic we have in the Western Hemisphere. In that sense, what we need now is to raise awareness and support for the efforts we are doing in Haiti with the government of Haiti in elimination of uh, cholera. In 2015 alone, the UN aims to vaccinate 300,000 people, 100,000 more than last year but Haiti's water, health and sanitation infrastructure remain very weak and it will take years of effort and international support to have upgraded systems in place.